Now we have the latest on Senator John McCain's condition. He was hospitalized on Wednesday to treat what his team says are normal side effects of his cancer therapy. And this morning, many are responding to that powerful moment on The View between his daughter, Meghan McCain, and former Vice President Joe Biden. Your son, Bo, had the same cancer that my father was diagnosed with six months ago. And I'm sorry. This is the moment the emotional moment that touched so many. It's not about me, it's about everyone with no, no, no. The View co-host Meghan McCain, consoled by former Vice President Joe Biden live on air. Biden moving seats to be next to McCain, taking her hand in his as McCain's eyes well up with tears. Your dad took care of my beau. Your dad, when he was a mill aide who worked with me, became friends with Bo. And Bo talked about your dad's courage, not about illness, but about his courage. Joe Biden and Senator John McCain share a personal friendship outside of Washington, where they have worked together for many years from across the aisle. If I picked up the phone tonight and called John McCain yep. and said, John, I need your help, come. He'd get on a plane and come, and I would for him, too. But the unfortunate common bond for their families these days is cancer. Earlier this year, McCain's father was diagnosed with the same form of cancer that took the life of Bo Biden, the former vice president's son, back in 2015. And any of you have somebody who is diagnosed with glioblastoma, which is about as bad as it gets, there's breakthroughs that are occurring now. The thing that I found is you've got to maintain hope. The vice president, who created the Biden Cancer Initiative to help fight the battle against cancer, is adamant that a cure will be found. Guys, we are going to beat this damn disease. We really are. Mm, that is the hope. Dr. Jen Ashton is here, and there's so many things that struck us from yeah. what happened yesterday, but the fact when he got up and went so You know, Robin, to that, that to me was one of the most important things of this segment. That is the action of, of a father or of a mother, of a healer, that type of compassion when someone is suffering. That's, what you, that's all you need to do. You need to sit next to them, you need to hold their hand, and you need to say, I feel you, I'm here with you, and it's going to be okay. I was really, really struck Jen, by that. Again, just thinking about it. Tell us about this particular type of cancer. Well, listen, you Talk about glioblastoma, it is one of the most aggressive types of cancer and the, one of the most aggressive types of brain cancer. It represents about 15% of all types of brain tumors and it's very difficult to treat. And in general, when you talk about a tumor in the brain, they are difficult to treat because it's hard to single out the tumor and not do damage to the surrounding mm -hmm. tissue of the brain, which, which is very sensitive to that. And a lot of drugs that we use to try to kill the tumor or cancer can't penetrate the blood-brain barrier. So this is, to, to be clear, a real challenge in the world of oncology. He alluded to some new treatments. Yeah. What? There's a lot of excitement in the, in the world of glioblastoma research. One of them in particular is a type of gene therapy, immune therapy, known as CAR-T. And basically, it, it involves removing part of the patient's blood, the T cells. If you look at this picture, the big blue blob in the middle is the cancer cell. The teal attachments on the side are the T cells that then go, they get put back into mm. the patient. They go on a seek and destroy mission using your body's immune system to kill the cancer. Um, but there's there's a lot of exciting research in particular in glioblastoma and that that's giving researchers clinicians and patients yeah. a reason I for hope. I had a T-cell with my bone marrow transplant. Yeah. That's what that we went in that direction. Yeah. Are we close? Are we close to finding a Okay, cure? listen, when you talk about cancer, we have to be careful. It's not like talking about weather. It's very individualized. All the future is about individualized, targeted therapy. There's a lot of clinical trials. Patients can go to clinicaltrials.gov, put in the type of cancer they have, where they're located, and see if they're eligible for a trial. But always reason for hope. Always reason. Never give up. Yeah. All right, Jen, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA